What's up man 16 guys uh, my name is Cody and in today's video we're going to be giving you a red zone scoring tip that's going to increase your effectiveness uh, of scoring more touchdowns uh, in the red zone section of the field. So the red zone section of the field real quick is from the 20 yard line to the goal line and, and specifically today we're going to focus on the 20 yard line to about the 10 yard line. This is a play that you can use uh, that's really going to help you score more touchdowns in that area of the field. Uh, so real quick guys, uh, just some quick information before we get started. Uh, we are in the St. Louis Rams Offensive Playbook. You'll be able to find the information below uh, to, to help you kind of specify what we're exactly we're doing. But real quick before we get started, uh, I actually wrote an entire offensive guide on the St. Louis Rams Playbook. So if you're interested in that, you can access that guide uh, below for a fairly cheap and inexpensive price. All right, guys, so the, the play we're going to be using, it comes to us from this formation, Wing Trips Week. And what I'm going to recommend is you want to pick a team that has a good tight end and a good number one receiver. So the Dallas Cowboys are very effective for this uh, play. The play we're going to be utilizing is this play, Slot Out. Uh, and what this is, is it, it's a very, very effective play. It gives us some very good routes for the red zone. I like to flip the play personally. Uh, you don't have to do that. The play will still work opposite but I personally read recommend running it flipped okay so when we get out to the play call screen there's a couple things that you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna place uh, this guy here Terrence Williams I like to put him on a hitch route normally I will actually smart route that to go 10 yards this gives me a second option if they go two man under okay so real quick guys we're gonna show you this against man to man so if you read man to man you're gonna wanna motion Des Bryant across the formation and you're going to snap him right after he gets behind Terrence Williams. He's going to actually be your first read. As you can see against man-to-man, -man, he's going to get wide open, and it's going to be a very effective route for you. Another option that we have against man-to-man, -man, because we put Terrence Williams on a smart route and hitch route, we'll actually be able to hit him uh, against man-to-man -man coverage as well. You'll see if we read man-to-man, -man, we can easily get the ball out of our hands quick, get the ball to Terrence Williams for a quick little 10-yard gain. Um, you know, this is going to set you up to be able to run the ball in the uh, inside the 10 on the goal line. Another read that we have against man-to-man -man real quick is this route to Jason Witten. So if they get both of them on the right, we can pass lead this route to Jason Witten. Uh, we use a high pass lead, and you just want to pass lead him uh, to the inside. Right there, he wasn't able to catch it, but normally he will actually come through for you uh, in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Again, you know, this post route is a little finicky. I would just recommend using a high pass lead. You don't always have to pass lead him inside. Uh, so like right here, we'll just use a high pass lead. But the problem is, as you can see there, when you don't use a pass lead, sometimes Tony Romo will throw it through the goalpost. So, you know, I would recommend. Now, again, your, your primary reads are Bryant and Williams. Um, you know, so Witten is kind of a secondary option. And then Cole Beasley is our late read. Uh, when he gets to the outside, you see he's going to be wide open. Uh, as well. So there's a couple reads for you against man-to-man. -man. Now I want to go into uh, zone coverage really quickly. So if they go cover three, one of the cool parts about this play especially is that a lot of teams, especially if they're predominantly quarters or dime teams, they're going to use man -a line. They're not going to base a line. So if they don't base a line, you're going to be able to hit this corner route to Des Bryant wide open against zone coverage every single time. Um, so right there, that was cover three. Uh, we're going to get ready here. We're going to show you cover two in a moment, and you'll see this works the same exact way. Um, what, what helps it is because he's in motion. It's a similar concept to what we did out of the shotgun uh, tight. So here he's going to go, and we're going to go a little high pass lead action, throw to him a dot in the back of the end zone. Uh, so as you can see there, that was against cover two. But what the, normally what they're going to start doing is, is the more you run this play, they're going to start knowing that they have to base align their defense. So once they start base aligning their defense, you're going to want to hit Jason Witten on this post route. It's going to be a high pass lead. We're just going to get him on a cross. And as you can see right there, we're going to get him. Only our receiver can catch that football. That's the key to this play. The cool part about this play, the reason that I really, 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 really run this play a lot more than I used to is because it's so efficient. It's so safe. It's a secure play. You've got a couple nice routes here. And really more than anything, only your receivers can get the ball. Um, on each route here, we have a lot of security. So, you know, this is something that I highly, highly recommend to you. Um, and this route to Jason Witten does such a good job 
in a one-on-one -on -one scenario because he's got high catching traffic. He's a good receiver. And not only that, um, this route, it's very unique this year. A lot of the top players are using it. You guys probably, if you watched the Madden Championship, saw Skimbo using this concept uh, to score more touchdowns in the red zone area. So again, just wanted to kind of put this play out there. We're going to show you another way to run this play tomorrow that's going to help you score more red zone touchdowns in that 10-yard line to 5-yard line window uh, right before you get down into the goal line. So hopefully this video um, was helpful, guys. I, I really, you know, I... I haven't shared this yet because it's I've kind of been tinkering with it, getting it really down to where it's really going to be beneficial to you guys. So I think that this really is kind of the best way to run this play. It's a great red zone play. I've had a ton of success with it. So let me know what you guys think. But also I wanted to ask you guys, what, what kind of videos would you like to see as we prepare for Madden 17? Just kind of interested. I'm trying to figure out a way to produce content that gives you the most value, that is easiest for you guys to use access and actually help you get better uh, i feel like sometimes i make a lot of content that isn't actually helpful so i just kind of want to learn more about you guys what kind of videos can i make that are actually going to help you get better uh, before man 17 comes out so let me know what you guys think and your suggestions in the comments and also guys uh, let me know how the quality goes i know i've been struggling with the audio so if you guys continue to help me out uh, i'd really appreciate that want to thank you guys real quick for all of your support and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if this play was helpful to you uh, or let me know if it wasn't. Thanks for